Today I'm going to share with you a hidden feature to perfectly swap faces in Photoshop. But there are a couple of steps involved before and after it to make it absolutely perfect. First of all, you need to make sure that the lighting is similar between the faces you want to swap. So right here, there's a soft light coming from the front left and there's a slight rim light from the back, very soft. And here as well, there's a soft light from the front and rim light from the back. Similar lighting will do. The next step is cutting it out. Select the lasso tool right here and make a selection around the face. Stay away from the edges, just like this. Now press Ctrl or Command C to copy and go to the document where you want to paste the face, Ctrl or Command V to paste it. It's too huge, press Ctrl or Command T to transform and simply adjust the size. You can always hold the Alt key or the Option key and make it larger or smaller from the center. Let's place it right about here and let's rotate it slightly just like this. Let's adjust it. For additional adjustment, you can also place the anchor point, for example, right here. The shortcut to which is holding the Alt key or the Option key and clicking here to directly place the anchor point there. And from that point, you can either rotate or make things larger or smaller by holding the Alt key or the Option key and making it larger or smaller. This seems to be about right hit enter or return. If you need to match the perspective a little bit more, you can also try warp. Press Ctrl or Command T, right click and then choose warp. And then you can adjust different points to match the perspective even more. Once done, hit enter or return. Now, of course, the edges of the face are not matching with that of Mr. Bean. So how do we do that? This brings us to our next step and that is face shape matching. Go back to the Mr. Bean document, deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D, Select it all by pressing Ctrl or Command A, copy it, Ctrl or Command C, and paste the whole thing here by pressing Ctrl or Command V. This is just for reference. Now, of course, press Ctrl or Command T and make it smaller and just place it right here, just for reference. Now, I recommend merging both of these layers. So select layer two, hold the Ctrl or Command, Select layer one, press Ctrl or Command E. Trust me, it will make sense in a while. Let's rename this layer to Bean Face and make a copy of the background layer by selecting the background layer, press Ctrl or Command J. Now let's go to filter, you guessed it right, liquify. Now we need to use Bean Face as a reference so that we can match the face shape. Now right here in the show backdrop section, you need to make sure that you check it and you want to use the bean face layer as a reference, you want that layer to be in front. Now, if you do increase the opacity, it should work. As you make changes, it should work because those layers have some areas of transparency. But it is Photoshop, it has some quirks. So for it to work, you need to decrease the opacity just slightly to about 88, 89%, something like this, and start matching the face shape. So look at the face shape right here and match it right here. Let's zoom out quite a bit. And with the forward warp tool right here at the top, slowly and gradually nudge it in. Now that the shape of the face looks very, very close, hit OK. I recommend making another copy of this liquefied layer just for backup. Press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy. And let's name this Bean Base. Now you can go back to the Bean Face layer, select the rectangular marquee tool and delete this extra thing. Select it press the delete key, control or command D. Now it is time for us to apply the hidden filter. But before we do so, we need to create a little gap around the edge for it to blend perfectly. To do it, hold the control or command and click on the thumbnail of the bean face layer. After you do that, go to select, modify and contract. Let's contract it by 12 pixels. That seems like a nice blend area. Now let's select the bean base layer and delete that area from it by pressing the delete key. Now to apply the hidden filter, select both the layers, the base and the face. Hold the control or command, select the other layer. Both of them are now selected. Go to edit and then auto blend layers. Make sure the selection is still active. These settings are fine. Hit OK. There you go. This error might show up from time to time. Just hit OK and then press control or command D and have a look at it. It's fantastic, isn't it? However, it's not perfect. And we move to the final step and that is finishing touches. If you zoom in, you will see the change in texture, change in sharpness. We need to fix all that. For it, let's make a group of all of this. Select the first layer, hold the Shift key, select the last layer in the series, and then press Control or Command G. This is 
the new face group. Now below it, remember I asked you to make two copies of the liquefied layer? This is now when it's going to be useful. I know this looks very odd, but this is gonna be useful in bringing back some of those textures. Let's turn on the new face, create a mask by clicking on the mask button right there, take the brush and decrease the flow to about 5%. With black as the foreground color and the soft round brush selected, slowly and gradually remove the edges, like this. There you go, look at the transition. Once you have done the basics, now it is time for us to do the impossible areas like these and these. For it, let's create a new layer at the top and select the remove tool right here. You wanna make sure sample all layers is checked and you can start painting on areas like this, areas like this, and any area that looks odd. Now there's another thing that looks odd right here. If you zoom out, everything looks fantastic. But as soon as you zoom in, you'll see that the Mr. Bean face area is very sharp. The rest of the area is very pixelated and noisy. So to kind of balance that, I have a super duper easy fix. And that is create a merged layer at the top. In other words, a stamp visible layer by pressing Control, Alt, Shift, and E. Once you do that, in this merged layer, you can go to Filter, Convert for Smart Filters, so that whatever filter you apply, you can change the stuff later. Go to Filter, Camera, Raw, Filter. Inside of it, you can add a lot of presets, but what I would suggest doing here is going down, opening up Effects, and add a bit of grain. That's all, add a bit of grain to the entire thing. Now, this is too sharp, so I'm gonna increase the size a bit. You can also control the roughness as well. Now, it's too much. So we're gonna decrease the overall thing. Now once we add that, it brings everything together so nicely. Hit okay once you're satisfied and there you have your face swap. So that's how to swap faces so easily in Photoshop. First of all, you need to make sure that the lighting is similar in both the images. Just cut it out and bring it right here. Then you need to match the face shape and to apply the main filter, make a selection of the new face area, contract it a little bit, Go back to the base layer, delete that area, keep the selection still active, and with both the layers selected, you can go to Edit, Auto Blend Layers. That's all. After that, there are some finishing touches here and there, some masking tricks you can apply to match it even better. So that's the creation of Super Bean in Photoshop, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give us a like, and also don't forget to subscribe, and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks, or tutorial. I would like to take this moment to thank all of these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. I've been to the top of Mount Everest. I've sailed the seven seas. I've shared the stage with all the best. A lot of good it did for me.